All right. Let's play ball here. All right. Or charge. Okay. Um. So we, uh, surface area. Area is simply the uh, surface area. Excuse me. Is the total area of the surface of a three dimensional. Okay. So yeah. And the classic things of I knew that. That's one of those things of yeah. I knew that. So really, what we're doing is is we have the surface. Remember the surface. Another word for that word surface is your. Yeah, it's your face. So a rectangular prism does have six faces, four wrapping around a top and a bottom. So you can see them, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six of them. The whole idea is, is we're going to find the area of each of them. So this is where we kind of want to label things. Like you can see the base is a two by two. So you can see it's going to be two by two. And you can see that ends up being the height of it ends up being a five. So what we want to notice here as we kind of work our way around when we fold it up, if we fold this up, anytime we get like an L shape, all right, they're going to have the exact same because they have to meet up with each other. All right, um, opposite sides in a rectangle have the same size. Oh my goodness, there's that L shape again. So you're going to start to see that these are all fives that are here. All right, which means these short lines here. All right, they're both two by two. So when they meet up at the top, yeah, you know you're going to have twos that are here. So um, label as much as you need, and then find the area of each of them. So if I'm looking at this, I see this guy right up there. Um, that's a two times a two. That's a four. One of these you'll start to notice is, oh my goodness, look at there's one there, and oh, because it's a prism, it's gonna have an opposite there. So we've got another one that's got a four as well. So two times two, that gives me a four. Um, we look at this rectangle here. That's five by two. So five times two is ten. So then the opposite side. You know, I'm gonna number these. That's one. That's two. That's three. All right two, three. So if I come on over here for four, I can see that's going to have the same thing. So that's a five times two. That's also a 10. Um, that leaves me then with shape five and shape six. And again, shape five, you can see it also. So sometimes they do have the same. That's not always going to be the same. So you do have to watch for it. Uh, another five times two is a 10. Then obviously here, a five by a two. Um, and there's a 10 as well. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 44, 48. There we go. So we got 48. And it is area. Uh, so we are using centimeters, it says. So it's centimeters squared. Remember, volume is number of cubes that fill up a shape. Even though it's a three-dimensional shape, we're finding surface area. So I am finding the area of them. All right, so let's try B here. All right, see if we can label some of the things in here. We got a nine by nine, so we start looking at information. Okay, that's got to be a nine. Uh, that's got to be a nine, which means the L shape that makes this guy a nine, um, which means there we go. The width back there is a four. So again, it is visual. You are definitely looking at kind of the sizes. Like, okay, if this has to be this, and this guy has to match up with this particular, size. It, there definitely is a lot of that. Um, you can also start finding the people that are the exact same. Like, for example, one. One and two will be the exact same. All right. Uh, three and four will be the exact same. Five and six will be the exact same. So when I look at one, I look at two. They're going to be the exact same. So uh, nine times nine. Yeah, nine times nine. That gives me 81. So I know the region of area two is going to be 81. Um, five and six. All right. Five, four by nine. So it's going to be four times nine. That's a 36. So the other guy's got to be 36. So the last guys are three and four. So again, we can definitely use the, the help of patterns here. All right. Uh, to kind of walk you through what you, what you can see here. Um, if you use the patterns, it's going to speed it up. All right, um, and I know that's typically what, uh, what what you like there. All right, um, so last guy here. So let's see, let's see. So opposite side. So that's a four. That's a four. If that's a nine, that's oh, there it is. Four times nine. All right, we got ourselves another 36. That's there. So again, region four also has to be 36. So um, let's see here. Uh, adding and how you want to combine them. I don't like doing them all at once. It's just too much going on. So I'm going to add them in groups. That's 162. Um, 36 and 36 make 72. So I'd rather add three numbers together than, than to add um, all six of them together at once. Uh, 2, 4, 6. All right. 6 and 7 is 13. 13 and 7 is 20. Carry the 2. There we go. 306 centimeters squared. So really all that we're, you, you got to make sure you can do is you can you can label, all right, by able to put them in the appropriate locations. All right. Now the one that we want to watch for here is your triangular prism. All right, uh, because we got to make sure we're using the right information that's there. So this is the three that's working off those rectangles that are wrapping around. So I got a three by a three here. The key thing here is this is the height, and and so we know what the area of a triangle. It's base times height divided by two. Oh my goodness, base times height divided by two. 
Yes, people. Yes, people. We do have to watch for the information that we've got there. I know, drama, drama. All right, so uh, let's see here. The, in the triangle, that's a three, so that height, that's going to make it a two. That's right there. So let's see here. Um, three, three. Hey, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, three times three, that's going to give me a nine. Um, so region one, two, and three. Yeah, they're going to be all the exact same. All right, uh, you can see that part of the triangle matches up with this guy here. So again, you can see, I know we talk about an L shape. It's kind of like an L. It's a little bit of a bent L. But yeah, regions 1, 2, and 3 will all be, all right, 9, 9, and 9, all right? Region 4 and 5, I'm going to make my triangles, all right? So base times height divided by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6 divided by 2, right back to 3 again. Um, we got another one that's a 3. So add it up there. 9, 3 is 27. 3 and 3 is 9. Uh, add your 27 and your 9 together. So the 1. 36, yeah, 36 centimeters squared. So um, again, one of those days where um, hopefully you're going, wait a second. Haven't we been doing this? Haven't we been finding the area of squares and rectangles and triangles? Absolutely. The only thing is you have to do is get the labeling of your picture. Oh, okay. Well, I, 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 all right, that seemed like some kind of rough sarcasm there, all right. Um, let's see if you can fill in the numbers here. Take a moment, take a moment, hit pause on it, and see if you, if you can, if you can handle it there, all right. Okay, so did, did, did you put a nine there? And again, I'm looking at this rectangle here. It also matches up with that triangle. Um, so we can see that's the slanted part. So I know that has to be an eight, which makes this guy an eight. Yeah, they're, they're not this exact same going left to right here. And again, we can see right there in that location. Um, they're telling me the height of the triangle is a six. So I'm going to fill that in as well. Um, let's see here. That makes this guy a nine, that guy a nine. Again, I'm just working across there. Um, the base, the bottom, that's an eight. All right. Um, so I think I'm set to go here. Eight on the diagonal. That makes this guy an eight. That makes, okay. So did you notice all three of these guys are the exact same? Yeah. Now, it's not always going to be the case. It has to do with the triangle here. Look, the triangle is 8 by 8 by 8. That's why they're all matching up. So um, 8 times 9 is a 72, but I've got three of them. All right. And then the triangles. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. All right. Divide it by 2, which is 24. But wait, there's another one. So some of you are going to start saying is like, do I have to divide by 2? Listen. Uh, if you want to get greedy like that, go ahead. Um, I like to kind of separate them because that's when I make mistakes, and I don't want to do that. So that is a 48. Let's see what we've got here. If we add these guys up, 246, so that's 216. All i got to add is my 216 with my 48, and I should be there. It's a 4. Carry the 1, 5, 6, um, and then 2. So yeah, 264 centimeters squared. So again, the big thing is getting the visual and labeling the picture. That's really what we're worried about here. All right. Um, and, and again, those L's, that's kind of what we're watching for, whether they're a perfect L or it looks like someone's kind of pushed it over a little bit. Um, that's, uh, that's what you want to make sure that you, uh, you're watching for. Shall we begin? No, we're done.